the Soviet Union. One of the world's most prominent nations in the 1900s and its Red Army, one of the strongest and largest forces the world has ever seen. A power to be truly reckoned with. So with that in mind, I had a thought. What if I actually used real life Soviet military tactics in a video game? However, not just in one game and not just one tactic, but every single tactic of the Soviet army during World War II, from the tank tactics, to the infantry tactics, to the whole division tactics, to even tactics of what I did in Bosnia in the 1990s using Soviet military doctrine from the small scale to the large scale, going from games like Hell at Loose, War Thunder, Steel Division, and of course, Hearts of Iron 4, as well as some others. Using them to cover Soviet involvement in World War II, focusing on major battles like the Winter War, Battle of Moscow, Battle of Stalingrad, Battle of Kursk, and of course, the Battle of Berlin. But before we get started, let's do a quick refresher on Soviet history at the time. Founded in 1923 by Vladimir Lenin after a bloody civil war between them, the Reds, and the Whites, which were a loose group of anti communist forces. The Reds prevailed. They did some sussy stuff to the royal family. Then, Lenin died in 1924, being succeeded with a dude with a nice mustache. And no, it's not that one. This dude's name was Stalin, becoming the general secretary of the Soviet Union, creating the infamous Gulag. And no, not the one from Call of Duty. This one works you until you're unalive. And unfortunately, being the last one alive is not a good thing. The 1924 to 1936 period was rather tame, with a famine every now and then and a starvation every here and there. Until 1937, where Stalin, being the insecure teenager he is, thought, Oh my god, those guys like Trotsky so much more than me. They are talking behind my back. Unaliving hundreds and thousands of suspected dissidents, leaving the Soviets with a severe lack of skilled individuals in every sector of the government, especially affecting the Soviet military. Which leaves us now in the year 1939. Oh, wait, what's happening in Germany? Who's... Uh, what's that on his face? The Germans have made their move on Poland and the Allies. We must utilize the situation to our advantage to press our own claims. The Baltics have already bent to our will, but there is resistance in the far north. The Finns are bashed in defiance. They cannot be allowed to exist. We will make preparations for our war. A winter war. This will be our first ever war since the Great Purge. Our officer corps is highly understaffed and under experience. However, mass senseless infantry charges always seem to work, so we're gonna do that. The manpower of the Union will always be able to overpower the Finnish people. Right, guys? Perkeles, yeah, that did not go so well, but at least we came out on top, gaining these territories. And you know what? It's not always about the outcome, but it's about the journey and the lessons we learned on the way. Right, guys? The war in Europe is in full swing. France has fallen and the UK is now isolated on their own with their colonies. We ourselves have made a deal with the Germans, the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. Splitting Europe between our spheres of influence, the Baltics, Eastern Poland, and Bessarabia will all fall under the Union's fist. Everything to the West, will fall under Germany's sphere. This will ensure that no war comes between our two nations and that peace and prosperity will prevail above all else. Wait. Did you guys hear that? What's that over the horizon? Ah! have been betrayed. The Germans have struck us when we least expected it. Their despicable Operation Barbarossa has struck deep into our motherland, annihilating our initial defenses. The Germans have set their sights on our major cities. Leningrad is cut off and encircled, and the road to Moscow is wide open. We must hold out. Reinforcements arrive soon from the east. Leningrad is completely cut off in the north and in the south. The only access we have back to the motherland is through Lake Lagoda to our east. Resupplies are limited and our brave defenders of the Union are beginning to starve. Wait, 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 no, 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 I meant choose to go on a diet. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
The war on the ground is stalemated the Germans not being able to break in nor us being able to break out. So instead, we will be joining the Red Air Force in their efforts to protect the road of life, the only supply route into the city. According to reports across the front, the Germans show a severe lack of anti-air capabilities. To capitalize on this intel, Soviet Air Command has decided to heavily rely on attack aircraft. So, with this in mind, we will be employing the use of the Stormovic, the infamous IL-2. The tactics are simple. Let's run by them. Firstly, the basic scissor. Two IL-2s flying next to each other in formation would break away in opposite directions, then suddenly turn back towards the target, engage, and repeat, allowing two planes to hit the same target twice over and over again. Next, zigzag. Better for larger groups of IL-2s, upon reaching the target area, the pilot would turn 45 degrees, then abruptly, out of nowhere, turn 90 degrees, barreling straight for the target, and repeat with other planes. This strategy confused enemy anti-air, leaving them guessing about when the IL-2s would strike, out of nowhere, here, maybe there, anywhere, anytime, you never know. Finally, there is Circle, best to counter enemy aircraft carried out by multiple IL-2s. One plane, the first one, would engage and break off, then the one behind it would engage and break off, repeating with multiple aircraft, as many as you want, and by the time the last plane was finished engaging, the first would be already in position, ready to engage once again, repeating over and over and over and over and over and over and over until all of them use their payloads, finish their bombing runs, and with this, each plane would cover each other's rear from interception from enemy aircraft. Ah, wait, 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 hold up, that actually wasn't the last tactic. Apparently, it was very common that the Soviets used the tactic of plane-on-plane -plane coalition. Okay, so, get in formation, heavy bumps are forward and uh, smaller bumps are back. Okay, check the map, check the map, check the map. We're gonna be striking this area over here, okay? Damn, you're my panzers. You tell them how to get out. Oh, no, there are trucks, there are trucks, there are trucks. Let's go. There are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Opening Bombay. Opening Bombay. Help my bombs. Oh, 12. I got multiple. Taking off, taking off, going off. I have five more. Okay, okay. you go for the run, I'll guard you. Dive your mid lane, please. Oh, there are. There are. There are in the mountains. They're in the mountains. Guys, Tuck is right in front of us. You see that? I'm down that road yeah. over there. Get ready, uh, so I get. I see the other fighters uh, already. They show the farmer cars. I'll go for those. Yeah, we'll go for the ones at the back. You guys go for the tanks right. in front. No shields. I'll be damaged. Don't even damage. I'm getting a bomb. Oh, 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 there's a FBN RE2000 going for us. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, what's well, it called? We get a support, uh, we got a support flux right now. We get a support flux. They got the F1, F, FW, FW. There we go. Turn it down. Yep, we got him. Oh, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Fuck, he's around the mountain, I can't see him anymore. Yeah. Slow. A, lot of my, a lot of my components are fucked. To the left. Oh, oh, there's there's a lot of... This guy, I wouldn't fly there. I know, above me. Oh no, I can't, oh, I can't go up there. It's over, it's over, it's over. It's over. It's what the hell? That is uh, realistic. <laughs> what the hell do you have red smoke now? What the fuck? Jeff has red, I'm yellow. Wait, we I'm can make a smoke die. show, bro. In the middle of a bar. Yeah. Is somebody around for us, I think? I am. I haven't hit him at all. He's good, you take him out. Come on, oh, this guy's gonna go. Yeah, he's ready. There we go, got him. Fuck it down, fuck it down. I got him. I got the teamwork thingy. Well, hold on, hold well on, hold well on. Lower, lower engine speed, lower engine speed. I'm like going 100 km per hour, I can. I flapped my back club, I'm dead. I'm dead, I think. I'm gonna crash. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I will, I mean. Millions of men have been killed or captured. The Soviet army is in complete disarray, and the end seems near. The great fortress cities of Sevastopol and Leningrad are under an unstopping siege. However, our greatest comrade has arrived, a winter. It has successfully slowed the German offensive to a snail's pace. And in an effort to end the war quickly, the Germans have turned their sights on our capital, Moscow. If we are unable to break their offensive here, then I fear it will be all over. We have put the city's defense as the duty of our greatest general, Georgi Zhukov. He has begun making plans and preparations and is employing the first major defensive use of the Deep Battle Doctrine on a strategic and a tactical level. 
All right, a little bit of background to what defensive deep battle is. It is a layering of defensive lines, usually two or more, supported by a mobile force in the reserve, consisting of tanks, motorized, as well as regular rifle divisions. In simple terms, how it works is if the enemy breaks the first line and begins to engage the second line, the mobile reserve and remaining soldiers of the first line can come in from the side and encircle the attacking forces from behind the good old lure and trap. Now you'll be joining the Soviet 50th Army on the ground in their defense of the outskirts of Moscow in the town of Tula. And so the battle has begun. The German advance continues through the city of Tula, entering the first stages of defense at the beginning edges of the town. The first layer of Soviet defenses are blown past. However, the Soviet back lines, the reinforcements, and the mobile defense force has been notified. T-34s have been deployed to respond. In the air, the battle rages on. The Luftwaffe engages the Soviet Red Air Force. Capturing the first part of the town, the Germans now strike deep, setting up artillery pieces, setting up tanks, and setting up a good-sized army to pierce through the Soviet central line. However, the Soviets are responding, and they are deploying units to the side and flanks, preparing to flank. A large mechanized outfit of German vehicles pushing through the center. A blitz, if you could say so. However, the mobile defense force is now active. They are now reacting. SU-152s, T-34s reacting to the size, and that's a w Oh, first Tiger dead. Goodbye. The Germans try to find a breakthrough anywhere, anywhere they can, but it is unfortunately not something that they can do. The Soviets are slowly moving up, encroaching from the either side of the flanks. From the east, a contingent of T-34s. From the west, a contingent of SU-152s. And this just seems to be a death valley. The Germans now prepare their last wave. However, the Soviets are also enacting their final counteroffensive to collapse on the front. S troops from the flanks are gathering up to encircle this bulwark. Now the Soviet artillery is in action, decimating the German lines in a beautiful show of the battle, the infantry moving forward. German artillery doing its best as can, but the finale is here. The rest of the mobile defense force is here. The T-34s have been mobilized. They are here in the last final striking maneuver. And the German Panthers are gone. And the offensive begins. The Germans are getting slaughtered. They're encircled. Their tanks are gone. And the battle is won. The Germans have been repelled. Tula has survived. Moscow lives another day, and we will continue to fight on. The tides are slowly turning, however, winter is ending, and with this, another bout of German offensives are to come. The Germans have shifted their focus southwards to the oil-rich regions of the Caucasus, and more importantly, to the great industrial city of Stalingrad. The Germans have already entered the outskirts of the city and bloody urban warfare between infantry squads is raging on. The Germans encroach ever closer to the city center. Every hour, ground switches control. Nevertheless, under no circumstances can we lose this city. General Secretary of the Soviet Union, Joseph Stalin, has issued Order 227, no step back. On the ground, we will be joining a Soviet rifle squadron comprised of nine men stationed within the very center of Stalingrad where they will employ Soviet infantry squad tactics both on the defensive and the offensive. Good luck, soldiers. Once again, tactic speed run. For the offensive, infantry squadrons had two methods of advancing, both under the covering fire of an MG. In an open area, they would do short frog hops between any cover they could obtain and find. Meanwhile, in a cover-filled area, they would push onwards towards the target, not stopping for anything. On the defensive, a squad would employ the use of camouflage. The Soviets being masters of this craft, they would entrench and defend an area of 50 meters hidden away from enemy sight, only engaging enemies when they got within 50 to 100 meters of the defensive position, when the designated spotter signaled to engage them. 
Now let's get over to the infantry positions at Stalingrad and its outskirts. Good luck to our troops and make sure to take as many iron crosses home as possible. Okay, boys, uh, let's gather up. Uh, we'll wait for machine gunners to catch up with us. Uh, just watch all perimeter, spread out. Usually, you, uh, you don't like stick with me. You don't stick with me. Just always spread out, always look in all directions. If you see a guy looking at that direction, don't look at the same direction. Don't cross Kel Kels, you need to take the machine gunner roll. All right, team one cross road, go. Browning, Browning. Boy, call me. Boy, call me. Okay. Yeah, placing the... Oh, ac across, uh, here, here, right here. Thank Got you. headshots, easy. Contact, close. Roger, roger, call direction. Uh, south, uh, one, uh, 170, across the top. Alright, gunfire guys, don't stack on the agenda, they're spread out, spread out. I see, I, I see them over here, they're across this field over here, you see them? There's a lot of them. Is yeah. he moving? Yeah, Shoot him, take him down, they're a good kill. Up on this house over here, that's where they are. That's where they're spawning at, roughly. Push towards here, let's go. Over this wall. I'm down. Over this wall. Oh wait, he's reloading. Team one push. Yeah, go 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 go. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'll move, I'll move, I'll move, I'll move out. There's a tank. Oh my god, I was so close. Oh yeah, fuck that. Yeah, run, fall back. Nah, 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 go retreat, boys. Retreat. We're going back into the city, boys. Back in the opposite direction. Move towards boom marker. Do not go in the road. You will get shot. There's more. Oh, yeah, machine gun. Stalingrad holds. The Germans have invested way too much into trying to take the city, sending all that equipment and manpower into the void. Zukov is planning to launch Operation Uranus, aimed at the German flanks, manned by reserve units from other Axis nations, attempting to collapse them. Powerless and his sixth army will soon be encircled, and the time to turn the tide of the war is near. The winds blow west now, and the Soviet army must take advantage of the German organizational chaos in the south. We will launch a major counteroffensive to regain much of the lost southern front in the Don and Shear River region. North of our Don offensive, we have pushed the Germans out of the large industrial cities of Kharkov and Kursk. However, the Germans heavily reinforced the territory around Kursk in particular. We have actually gotten reports as well of incoming German offensives into the city. The Operation Citadel. Aimed at the Kursk region, a major panzer army consisting of 2,500 tanks is reportedly going to be involved in the offensive. However, thanks to British intelligence, we will be able to make preparations beforehand. Soviet High Command has deployed 3,600 tanks in response. If intelligence is not wrong, this is going to be the largest tank battle in the history of the world. On the ground, we will be joining a Soviet tank platoon charged with the defense of Kursk. Tactics-wise, there is not much written about Soviet tank platoons, beyond the fact that they were usually comprised of three to four tanks per platoon. Usually the first tanks to engage in the battle were usually the KV-1s, the big boys followed by the T-34, the mediums, and then lastly, by the Whittle T-60s. Most of the tactics were mass charges and full-on chaotic movements that had really no organization and were just full-on charges at the enemy. However, I managed to scrounge up at least two commonly used attack maneuvers. First was the oval, where two groups of two tanks each would split, one going left, one going right, engaging the enemy while on the move slowly closing in towards the target until they eliminate it or get eliminated. Second is the semi-circle maneuver, where half of the platoon will take up a covering fire position and the other half will engage the enemy directly at a semi-circle-like maneuver. Lastly, just for funsies, we're gonna be trying out how the KV-2 was used defensively, hidden in a ditch and just, you, you, you'll see. If you are gonna masturbate to my face right now,
Okay, let's move uh, to Colin southwards. I will call out who is doing hammer and sickle. So they stick next to each other, basically. If you're like in one fire team, if you're hammer, stick next to each other. If you're in sickle, stick next to each other. Let's line up. We're going, boys. Look at Check your maps. We're going to this crossroad over here. Copy? First maneuver we're going to be using is semi-circle. Semi-circle. Okay, we engage an enemy. Hammer will stay put. Sickle will engage, okay? He's a capitalist, comrade commissar. Oh, Skook. Copy, oh, remember it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Formation, formation. Semi-circle. Go, 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 go. Keep moving. Don't stop. He has them. He's hiding. He's scared. He's scared of gaming one condition. Push it. Don't worry. I'm making your fire. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. No. 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 Yes. I killed it! Tuck it down, tuck yes. it down, reborn, reborn, retreat, 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 pull back, pull back, pull back. I'll cover. Pull back to the road that I am on. Yes, sir. Okay, now we're re we're reforming. Uh, what's it called? Reforming. We're waiting for our uh, teammate to catch up on us and we're, we're reforming. Okay, yes, I want Sickle, move up the hill. Hammer, we'll hold the right yes. flank over here. Oh, gosh. Ambush, it's where, where, left. where? Call out! To the left, to oh. the left, to the left, to the left, oh! Sure, man. Ambush! Right in front, I'm gonna tell me, sir! Copy, copy, copy! Move, engage! And don't want no tomorrow-ish! I am the last KV! I missed the shot! Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> we must pull him, we need to leave him, I'm not Okay, uh, we need to take it. Enable the rebel rope, enable the rebel rope. We'll pull you up. This was a good yes. idea to yes. go there. Yes! Well, yes. I did not thought I would fly. Yes, brothers, go save. Okay, okay, we fall, we fall. I thought I would fly. <laughs> stick with your member, stick with your member. Contact, 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 engage, engage, engage. Oh, he's got a KV too. Oh. Take him down, take him down, boys, take him down. Engage, push him, push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. Push him. Oh, Remember, go. sickle, push, push, push. Another one, another one. Italian. Green. Engage, don't stop moving, don't stop moving. Only hammer stops moving. Go, 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 go. Dead. Perfect. Knock it down, knock it down. Right side, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. Hammer engage, hammer engage, right side, right side, right side. One down, one down, one down, hammer. Yes, he does. Okay, it's over, it's over. Tuck it down, tuck it down, okay. tuck it down. We got him, we got him, we got him. Hold on, come on. Take up positions on the point, take up positions on the point. Yes, the Tavarish. <laughs> we are watching the back. Enemy tank no. down the street, down the street. East side, east side. Oh, it's shooting us in the he's back. He's hit, he's hit. Gunner disabled, gunner disabled. Tuck it down, yeah. good job, good job, good job. Good job, comrade. No, it's over, we won. Victory! Big Steeper Rod! Let's do the 1945 Big Steeper Rod! Party like Operation Decoration starts now! Hurra! <laughs>
wysyłamy żołnierzom polskim walczącym na Helu i wszystkim walczącym, gdzie oni się jeszcze znajdują. И сегодня, 2 мая, полностью овладели столицей Германии, городом Берлином! Operation Bagration has been a huge success. The Germans are collapsing on all fronts. Our brave comrades march into Poland and the Balkan and across the Vistula River. There is little to no resistance anymore. The Germans have abandoned their allies and have retreated to their fatherland. The days are numbered for the man who likes the number nine a little bit too much, maybe. Today, Warsaw was liberated. Tomorrow, Berlin. The date is April 16th, 1945. We have arrived at the gates of Berlin. The city only lies 60 kilometers away. We have steamrolled the Germans on the way here, crossed the Vistula at three points, launching major offensives from all three. They are outgunned, outmanned, and even outmoraled. They have totally collapsed. However, at Berlin, they are mounting their last stand. Multiple elite army corps are supporting the untrained Volkstrom militia comprised of old men and children at the city center. This will not be easy. However, to prevent any more German reinforcements from arriving in the city, we will launch an offensive in the north and in the south to encircle the city once and for all. With the city encircled, it is time to launch our final sonata and put an end to this war. The Soviet army has been ordered to attack. In the north, Konstantin Rokozovsky and the 2nd Belarusian Front Army would lead the charge. In the center, Georgi Zhukov and the 1st Belarusian Army would brute force an opening. And finally, in the south, Ivan Konev and the 1st Ukrainian Front Army, with massive attacks on all sides, we will strangle Berlin and finally put an end to the war. We oversee this assault from the perspective of the Belarusian 52nd Infantry Regiment as they encroach ever closer to the Reichstag. And let's hope they don't get one tap this close to our final oh. victory. Battle of Berlin begins, boys. Help us! Gunner to cover! What the f? He shot me through like an inch of a hole. You guys see that, right? Hey, you cannot tell me that guy's camping right there for the entire game. But they have 400, actually no, they have 400 lives. I didn't even realize, Jesus Christ, look at that. Frontline man, that's not good at all. No, we're losing all exits. Hold the line. I like how I like how I'm trying to sort of record. <laughs> but Battlefield Love is like the least historically accurate game. It's like some random, random Japanese people in Europe, bro. Don't at him. Oh, I blow my top. <laughs> Oh, oh. Ich habe ein <laughs> I got snapped. There ain't no way it's a go, bro. That's like a boomer ass game, bro. That was 50 years ago. We finally made it. Play my victory indeed. It is the final Zabayant! German! Ah! <laughs> 
Take him down. Go! Yes, Posh! I can make it! Ah, you are so close. I am so close. You always We are so close. Hurrah! Yes! Ah, just a few steps more for the Union. Ah! 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 Victory! As long as you live. The heart of this My heart will never stop beating red. Things will change, my friend. Victory! Glory! Victory has been secured over Berlin. There are reports that the madman of the German Reich has put himself out of his own misery. The German Reich had officially surrendered. The war was over. The Soviet nation had underwent mass shame and failure, beginning with Finland and the massive losses against such a small nation. To the shameful reaction to Operation Barbarossa resulting in 4.5 million casualties in just the opening six months of the war. However, from our failure, we learned. We adapted and developed the successful military doctrine of a deep battle, bleeding the Germans of their equipment and manpower until it was finally our turn to strike. And when we did, they crumbled like a tower of cards, transforming the Soviet Union into a military power that would captivate the world for decades to come. In total, the Soviet Union sustained 27 million casualties in both the civilian and military sectors. This remains to be the largest casualty rate to date, and its effects are still present in former Soviet bloc nations. To close off, as a famous quote goes, the war was won with British intelligence, American steel, and Soviet blood. If hey, you enjoyed this silent like video, comment down below about which tactics you would like to see next from any country from any time period. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. Oh god, alright, that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Hey JPEG, cue in the credits. Thank you.